I'm Brian Steele, manager of the Synergy and Change Integrations Development Team here at IBM Rational. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Agile planning and collaboration features of Rational Team Concert and link the results with artifacts in Rational Synergy and Rational Change using our new integrations. I'm going to start this demonstration inside of Rational Change. I'm looking at a change request, and as you can see, it has a work item ID already associ associated to it. It's work item ID 229, and a work item link that I could use to take me straight into Rational Team Concert to look at the work item that's associated to this change request. This linkage is done using Rational Synchronization Server, and I've configured it so that any changes I make to this change request get automatically propagated to the work item. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to sign this change request to be worked on in the 1.0 release. And what I'm going to do next is go off into Rational Team Concert and I'm going to show you that the work item in Rational Team Concert is, if you look at the links tab, associated right back to that change request that I was just showing you. Now as a team lead, what I'd like to do is looking at this change request, I see that it's currently unassigned uh, and that it's planned for the backlog, but I'd really like this to be in, uh, since it's a critical defect, I, I like this to be fixed in the next iteration. So what I'm going to do is plan this for Sprint 3, which is my next iteration. I'm going to assign this to Bob user to work on and I'm going to set this to have Bob start working on it. Now when I save this, uh, you'll see the status updates to in progress, and that change will get synchronized back into Rational Change. But as a team leader, I may want to see you know, what is the overall status of Sprint 3 so far as it's currently ongoing. So I can look here. Um, this is my one view of Sprint 3, and I can see Bob user has assigned that uh, task work item and that some of my other users are uh, moving right along on the work items that are assigned to them. As a team lead, I can also look at the dashboards that are available. Uh, for this project area in Rational Team Concert, I have a few dashboards set up. This one is a planning dashboard where you can see my Sprint 1 and Sprint 2 have already finished, and Sprint 3 is currently in progress, and the overall progress for my release, I'm a little bit uh, less than halfway done can also look at the development dashboard and I can see how many new defects versus resolved defects um, and various other charts uh, including severity and who owns uh, various defects. Moving back into the Rational Team Concert interface, as a team lead, I am now going to assign a new Synergy task for Bob to go and implement this particular work item to fix this defect. So I'll enter a quick synopsis. And I'll go ahead and create this. Once this task is created in Synergy, uh, I will be able to see the linkage if I look at the work item uh, by looking at the task tab of the work item. And because I'm using Synchronization Server, there's some extra automation built in that will automatically link the task that was just created and associated to my work item with the change request and rational change. So here you can see the link between the work item number 229 and the synergy task that I just created. And if I go to rational change, you will see that the uh, CR is moved to the assigned state and is now automatically associated with the new synergy task that I created. So here's the CR in assigned state and scrolling down, you can see that I now have a task assigned to me to work on and it's associated to the change request. Now as a developer, uh, as Bob, you can see I'm Bob here, uh, what I would do then is I would go into uh, my Eclipse environment or Visual Studio or whatever environment I happen to work in and that environment could be Rational Team Concert because that does include uh, the entire Eclipse Java development environment. So I could uh, work inside Rational Team Concert not only for planning, but also for my development. And I'd open up whatever class the problem lies. Let's maybe say it's in based, taste, based test runner.java, and I would uh, start making changes associated with that task. Once I've fixed the problem, I would then complete my task in Synergy, ensuring that I have full traceability from the work item all the way to the code.
Once I've actually fixed the task, uh, my last step as the developer, as Bob, would be to go into uh, Rational Team Concert and actually mark that work item as resolved. So I'll go in and I'm going to say that I have resolved this change request and it's fixed and this work item is now finished. Now once again since I'm using Synchronization Server uh, I don't have to worry about resolving the change request in Rational Change. When I go back and look at that change request I'll see that it is in the resolved state uh, and my work as a developer is finished. Switching back to change, I can show the CR, and you'll see the CR is now in the resolve state. Now at any time in the future in Rational Team Concert, if I want to follow that traceability from the work item down to the code, I can just open the task from the work item uh, links tab, and the Synergy Task Properties dialog will appear, and you can see from here all the information about the Synergy task, including all the uh, uh, Synergy source files that are associated with that task, giving me once again full traceability from my work item down to my code, and automatic uh, traceability through the change request in Rational Change. This allows me to use the team collaboration and agile planning features of Rational Team Concert and still maintain my investment in Synergy and Change.